Hi everybody, I'm Claire from Rainbow Acrylics. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I'm really excited, as usual, before a pour. Um, I've been on holiday for a week and I have missed paint pouring so much. It's such an addiction. I, I absolutely love paint pouring. Um, so I've really missed it, a whole week without any pouring. Um, so I'm just going to have fun. I'm going to do a pour, a Dutch pour, with beautiful, beautiful colours. So um, I'm really inspired at the moment by quite deep purples, deep pinks um, and gold. So or more violets and purples and goldy colours and some bronze. So um, some really, really beautiful, beautiful colours together. Um, so really happy, really excited. So let me show you. This is what I'm using for the pour. I'm doing an Amsterdam white base, then the uh, Dutch pour design colours, lots of Amsterdam colours, Caput Mortar violet, um, permanent blue violet, I've got ultramarine violet, pearl violet, bronze, and then one little Pebio Studio Acrylics colour, um, iridescent precious gold. Um, all of these colours I've mixed with this, with the um, American Flood Fluoratrol, and the way I've mixed that is two parts Fluoratrol to one part paint to three quarters of a part water, except for the metallic ones where I've added a bit more water, so it's more like one part water. Um, and all of the measurements are done by weight. So, um, for example, when I mix a little pot, um, let me show you, I have just mixed this little pot of the um, the lighter colour. Um, I mixed in there 30 grams of Fluoratrol here, and then I mixed 15 grams of this paint, and then 11 and a half or 12 grams of water. So that's how I've mixed it. So it gives me this consistency, so it's quite nice and runny. It doesn't really leave a mound. Maybe very, very slight trace, a very tiny mound. This is on the slightly thicker side, I would say. I might add a splash more water. Or I might just leave it, I'm not sure yet. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm using. So um, let's get started. I've just put push pins in the back, the large push pins, um, which I just get from Amazon. Hammered those in the back. And then I've put my spirit level all over the canvas just to make sure that it's level. It has to be level, otherwise it won't dry properly and the paint will slide. Um, right, let's start. So I've mixed up some white. Just going to add a splash more water in that. I mixed the paints up about half an hour ago, three quarters of an hour ago, and they just naturally thicken. It's a warm day, so I think the air just naturally thickens. Um, the paints, the water evaporates within the paint. So you can see there's not really a trace. There is, there's a slight mound on a mound as the paint enters the surface. So I splash more water. Really what I want the paint to do is go straight, that's better, straight under the surface of the um, paint. Nice and runny. Right, let's pour this on. What I've really, really liked doing recently is using a hairdryer to blow this paint across the canvas to get it coated. Um, the reason I like doing that is because it then actually, as it, as it blows over the edge, it starts covering the edges for me. Um, and it means I can get a really nice, um, even coat of paint. So I much prefer this at the moment than using the spatula. Right, that's my base covered. So I'm now going to add the colours to the design. Um, I've put them in the order I want, um, and that order is um, alternating the purple, the violets, and then the golds and the bronzes, and then white. I'm just putting a little splash of white on last, and um, because it's the pearl white, it just gives the most amazing sheen. Um, and I'm really so I really quite like that on top. Right, a lot of my Dutch pores recently have been curly lines, which I love, but I also love trying new things and doing things differently. So for a complete change, I'm going to go horizontally across the middle, just to see what happens. Um, I've been doing a lot of split colour um, split colour pores and lots of different diagonal lines, but I'm going to do it differently. Um, so actually, I need to work out where the middle is. Be a good start. 
just going to put my pots roughly where I think the middle is. Right, I should have said, I'm going to do a horizontal line, but the line won't be completely straight. I'm going, I will be moving it about a little bit. Right, that was actually quite a lot of that purple. Might be a bit too much. Right, bronze. And then the ultramarine violet. And then some gold. <coughs> Caput Mortem Violet. And then a little bit of my pearl white on top. Great. So that's quite a lot of paint. A couple of good things to mention is that the colours haven't sunk. So I can see the very distinct edge between the white and the violet, which means it hasn't sunk. If the violet had sunk, I would start to see um, a diluted effect at the edge where I could see the white on top of the violet. Um, so that, that looks pretty good. The Caput Mortem violet has sunk through the gold and that just means, I think I'm right in saying, that the Caput Mortem Violet is a bit runnier, a little bit too runny. Um, I'm at the end of the pot so I'm just actually going to just use up the rest of this right on top. Right, that is a lot of paint. So let's just burst the air bubbles. and blow this out. Right, what I'm thinking, I always start from one end, so I'm thinking today, let's start from the middle and blow out 45 degrees that way and then 45 degrees that way. I think that's what I'm gonna try. are beautiful the gold and the bronze that are popping up the cells that are popping up are beautiful wow I'm really really happy with this right I'm gonna do a little bit of tweaking around the edges not quite happy with some of these edges wow this color scheme is oh it's gorgeous so pretty right let's just do a little bit of bit of um, tweaking around the edges Right, I've just tweaked all of these petals. I'm not sure I'm happy with the composition. So I would normally stop at this point because what I like is the irregular edges. But what I also like when I was doing this is when I've blown it out further and stretched the paint over the white, the white starts coming through. So what I'm actually wondering about doing is actually blowing further I might regret it, I'm not sure, but actually blowing further 
<clears throat> and so the, the petals will fade a bit more. Oh, am I going to regret that? I quite like it. It just is a little bit softer at the edges. I've finished. Um, I've got I got a little bit carried away with the blowing, as you can tell. So we now no longer have petals, but I don't know what you call them really. Um, the problem I had with the composition was this petal here was very very pale, whereas in contrast you had a petal here with really intense colour, and I just felt it didn't balance. So what I've decided to do was just actually if I blow over the edge, you get a totally totally different effect. Um, but it just seemed a bit more balanced to me. Um, so let me show you close up um, what this looks like. It's just, just beautiful. The colours I absolutely adore. Um, absolutely gorgeous colours. The cells, it's the gold and look, isn't it just gorgeous? The gold um, and the bronze that seem to be popping up to make the most cells. Just, and it's just so sh um, shiny, so sparkly, as the gold just creeps through. Um, one thing I did try and keep was this band of white here. So in between the petals, I decided to try and keep that as the, the bright white. Oh, I love this. I love these colours. I think I'm going to do another pour straight away with the same colours because they're all out. I just need to mix some more base colour. Great, I will be back when it's dry. So here is the dry result. I'm so pleased with it. Look how intense and dark that band is in the middle. And then it just fades to nothing. I really, really pleased with it. It's not what I was anticipating um, pouring yesterday, but I'm so, so pleased. Um, I love all these little wispy bits at the edges. They're just so, so delicate. And then also yeah, along the top here, really, really delicate. Um, and because of this size of canvas, I'm just so pleased that I did the Dutch pour to the edge. Um, now look at, Oh my goodness, the colour. Look at the colours. I've, I've got it on an angle to try and show you the shimmer of that bronze there and that gold there. The colours are gorgeous. Um, there's some really, really dark patches and that is that um, really dark violet, um, that permanent, I think it's blue violet. Um, and it yeah, it's almost black in places. Um, yeah, it's here and then it fades so it's, it's lighter there. The cells are just gorgeous. The details, so, so pretty. I just love this colour scheme. So nice. Great, thank you so much for watching. As usual, please leave any comments you want to. Um, and if you like it, give it a thumbs up. And please consider subscribing so you'll get all my uh, notifications for all my new releases, new release videos. Great, have a lovely weekend everyone. Bye.